we're going to be installing this 14 inch enclosure on the bottom and this 28 inch enclosure above it. There are a couple of reasons you might want to use uh, these two enclosures. If you wanted to put the service provider equipment that needed to be secured in the one below and the residential equipment above, this provides a secured location below and a pass through using that tube. So how do you install it? You want to get this enclosure so it's not too close to the floor, but not so high up that it puts the, SN, the top unit very, very high. In this application, I found that the sweet spot for the top of this enclosure is somewhere between 30, 34 inches from the finished floor. So I'll make a mark at 32 inches and we'll call it even. So I'm gonna put a mark on the stud at 32 inches. That will be the top of my bottom enclosure. You need to install the lower enclosure first. It'll be more obvious why in a moment. So this will be, here's my mark and here's the top of the enclosure. To install this enclosure like the others, put it where you want it to be, put a little mark on the keyhole, set it aside. I'm gonna take this, take one of these screws. These are just standard drywall screws. We're gonna put one of these screws into that mark, right at the top of the keyhole there. I'm gonna leave it sticking out about a quarter inch or so. Use the keyhole to center, this, center the product up. Now we'll drive the rest of the screws. You wanna make sure that it's sitting level and the, these studs are level. Check them already. So we'll go ahead and drive the rest of them. What you want to do though is use the slots. So we're going to use the slots here, here, and here. Leave that one in the keyhole for now. So find in the center of the slot, drive in the next screw. I don't try to tighten these up until we're, until we're close to the end. Once everything is all set, then I'll tighten up the rest of the screws. Right in the center of the slot. Now, now that everything is is in place. I'll tighten up the keyhole and we're going to just try to get it flush with the plastic. The plastic is soft enough that a drywall screw will, will grind its way in and sit flush. Try not to drive it all the way through. These tools have the ability to drive these screws all the way through. Um, if that is, if that does happen, you have additional slots. You can just drive another screw. So now that we have the lower enclosure in, we'll get it prepared for the service providers products that they're going to be using. We know they're going to need power and they've already decided we're going to put a uh, ACS power module here in this knock from this spot. So we'll take this knockout out. We also know they're going to bring power or their cabling in from the bottom. So we'll take that one out. We know we're going to put the tube in. That's the purpose of this project. So we'll take this top one out. We want the large one out in this corner, not this one. We want this one out and it'll be more obvious in a moment. So it's out of the way. Now that this one is, is set in its location, we know we're going to put this one above it. We're going to have to prepare it as well. We need to have this knockout up here removed because that's where the cables are going to come in for the unit. We need this knockout down here removed for the tube. And we want to take this one out because they also want power in the residential unit closure. Now, I don't want to do this in here. I'm going to hold it out to the side. So we'll take this one out, which is the top. Turn it over. This is the bottom one for the tube. And then the AC power unit that we're going to be installing here. We take our pre-assembled tube, which we just discussed making sure front is facing the front of the enclosure or facing you and snap it in place. It'll just sit in there and there's a small latch in there. There's a lot of room for movement so that this makes this next step easier. Take the next box, put it in the stud bay above and drop it on. Okay. Once it's setting in in, set in place, get a screw. This is different from the others where you use the keyhole first. In this case, we're using this as our anchor point and it holds the box in place while we drive screws in to hold it. We're going in the slots this time. Screw in the slot. <laughs> All right, 
We've got it set up. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these in until they get buried into the plastic. That one's already there. A little bit, a little bit. Again, if you go too far, just drive another screw. Okay, so now the last thing we need to do before we pull cables is install our grommets. So we have, like I said, the large grommets and the small grommets. We're not gonna use the small grommets in this particular installation. We'll put the large grommets here and we'll do the bottom one. <clears throat> so now that we have our, our products in place, how do we get power to them? It's pretty straightforward. You're gonna put, you know, drill holes and bring an AC power cable. In this case, we'll have one down below. So this will bring in your power cable for, for this bottom outlet. So the, the trick is the spacing that is provided by this large tube gives you adequate spacing to put a power outlet also in this enclosure. So in this case, we'll drill a hole right through here. Now this will allow you to bring power for the lower enclosure as well. Do not try to pass the cable up this up the space here. It's too tight. The, the enclosure fills the space entirely. If you put it in there, it's gonna cause the, the enclosure to sit crooked. So drill a, drill a hole here and bring the cable in. Same thing if you needed to bring cable in the top of this enclosure, come down the adjacent bay in the side and in through here.